Ukraine's preparations to co-host Euro 2012 have met with setbacks both on and off the pitch, but problems affecting stadium construction and accommodation seem to have been resolved. Leading the line will be 35-year-old captain Andrei Shevchenko. It's likely to be his last major tournament as part of the national team. Ukraine's Euro 2012 planning started to take shape when they took on the Netherlands in Donetsk. The home team secured a very respectable draw with the World Cup runners-up. Coach Myron Markovic tendered his resignation in the weeks that followed. Yuri Kalitvintsev was appointed caretaker on August the 25th, 2010. Ukraine met fellow co-host Poland in September and managed a late draw thanks to a last-minute equaliser. Iranaus Yelin put the poles ahead before the interval. However, Evan Seleznev tapped home at the death to salvage another draw for the visitors. Later that month, UEFA President Michel Platini declared that Ukraine was almost ready to host Euro 2012 while on a visit to Kharkiv's Metalist Stadium. There had been fears the joint host would not be ready in time, threatening their ability to stage the championship. Following a 2-0 defeat to Brazil in October, Ukraine travelled to Switzerland. The home side struck first through Alexander Fry. But Ukraine responded after the break, but Alexander Aliyev equalised with the help of a deflection. Fry's second came after the hour mark, but the visitors came back for the second time in the match. Evgeny Konoplyanka's stunning strike from distance helped seal their fourth draw in six games. Following another two draws, which led to penalty shootout victories, Ukraine met Italy in Kiev. Goals from Giuseppe Rossi and Alessandro Matri consigned the Euro 2012 host to defeat. April 2011 saw another change in management for Ukraine with the appointment of Oleg Blokin for his second stint as the national team's head coach. After beating Uzbekistan in his first match back in charge, a second-half demolition at the hands of France came a year out from the tournament. And things didn't improve two months later when they hosted Sweden. A fine defensive effort was undone when Tobias Hoysen snatched the winner in added time. They would go on to lose the next two matches. However, there were back-to-back -back wins for Ukraine in October when they overcame fellow Eastern Europeans Estonia and Bulgaria. And the Olympic Stadium, venue for the Euro 2012 final, was opened by President Viktor Yanukovych in Kiev. As co-host, they will be taking part in their first European Championship and will never have a better chance to impress on the international stage. YouTube.com forward slash goal is full of stuff like this and proper football too. To make sure you don't miss out, just hit the subscribe button. It really is that simple.